This is a small video on how to remember Martha E. Rogers' theory of unitary human beings, especially for students when you are writing the exam. I have already done a detailed video explaining Rogers' theory, uh, which the link of which I'll be sharing in this description box so that those who have not seen can go through the other video for a detailed version. But from an exam point of view, how to remember Rogers' theory, okay? That we are going to discuss in this small, short video. So, first thing is when you get an essay question on Martha E. Rogers' theory, we have to write a brief history about the theorist. So, when we study all the 13 theories which is given in the syllabus, it may be really confusing for us to remember the historical background of all the theorists. So, at least certain keywords we have to remember which will help us to write the exam in a very nice way. So, I should know that the name of the theorist is Martha Elizabeth Rogers. She was born on May 12th, which means she is sharing the birthday of Florence Nightingale in the year 1914. Another specific thing which I should remember about Rogers' theory, sorry, about Martha E. Rogers is she was a public health nurse. So her speciality for her MSc is public health nurse. Later, she took her doctorate from John Hopkins University. And then after that, she worked as an academician at a very higher level, that is as Professor Emeritus. And she is passed away in the year 1994. So at least I should know the full name of the theorist, Martha Elizabeth Rogers. Her birthday is with along Florence Nightingale. She is a public health nurse. She completed her PhD. She worked as Professor Emeritus and she passed away in the year 94. Now coming on to what is it? Phi square, three square formula. The first, let us talk about phi square, which means in Rogers theory, there is phi square. So two times phi comes. One is for concept. There are five concepts. The second five is for the assumptions, that is five assumptions. So, five concepts, five assumptions. So, quickly let us see what are the five concepts. You should be able to remember that Roger's theory is talking about energy field. So, the first concept is energy field. Second concept is pattern. Third is pan-dimensionality. Fourth is unitary human being. And fifth is environmental energy field. So, phi square, the first phi stands for the five concepts. So, what is energy field? Energy field, if you're going to see, it is a fundamental unit of both living and non-living thing. So, according to Roger, even a living thing or a non-living thing is having an energy field. Number two, this energy field has a pattern. There is a pattern which means each of every human being, we have our own distinguishing characteristic of our energy field. For example, we say some people are very kind, some people are very loving, some people are very short-tempered. With that one word, when you are telling about that distinguishing characteristic of an energy field, that is called as a pattern. So, number one is energy field. Number two is this energy field has a distinguishing characteristic, which is called as a pattern. Number three, it is pan-dimensionality, which means there is no spatial or temporal attributes, which means energy field is there everywhere. Okay, my energy field is not limited to the place where I am sitting. It is pan-dimensional. It can cross the boundaries of country. It can go anywhere. So, that is what Roger believed in her third concept. It is pan-dimensional, both human and environmental field. Number four, she gave the fourth concept is unitary human being. Why did Roger say it as unitary human being? Because she believed that this human being is irreducible, indivisible. This human being is pan-dimensional and uh, this energy field is having a pattern which are specific to the whole. So she believed that one particular human being, the patient who is in front of me, cannot be reduced. He is having his energy field is pan-dimensional. This energy field has a specific pattern and I cannot reduce him to just parts. Just because he is an amputee patient or a patient with amputation, I should not see that he is a person who has only one leg because he is more than that. Okay, He is more than the sum of the parts. Concept number five, environmental energy field. The same words what you wrote for unitary human being. Irreducible, indivisible, 
pan dimensional having a pattern and interacting with this unitary human being is environmental energy field so if you are going to ask what is the ratio of a person to the environment it is 1 is to 1 which means if i am having pan dimensional energy field this environment also has pan dimensional energy field i am indivisible and i am irreducible according to roger this environment is also like that you cannot reduce it and it is always interacting with unitary human being so the five concepts once again number one is the basic thing energy field that is a fundamental thing this energy field has a pattern it is having pan dimensionality it moves everywhere and there is a human being and there is an environment so unitary human being and the environment so that is about the first five then the second thing what you should write in your paper is in your exam paper is about the assumptions so how many assumptions are there it is pi square so there are five assumptions so what are the five assumptions wholeness openness unidirectionality pattern and organization sentience and thought so what are they it's very simple number one is wholeness as i just told you the example of a patient with amputation she believed that a human being is whole that is a human being is more than the sum of parts a human being is different from the sum of parts because she considers a human being though he is blind though he is deaf though he is not having one leg or though he is paralyzed to the bed still according to roger this person is more than the sum of parts she looks at a person's energy field it is not that just because one or two parts are missing she will say that that person is sick never roger believed that uh, the human being is a whole and that they are more than the sum of parts number 2 openness according to rogers theory she believed that this human being and the environment are open to each other which means we constantly keep exchanging our energy field maybe it is from one person to another person it can be from one person to this non living environment where it is okay so always there is an openness of energy field number 3 she believed in unidirectionality she believed that human beings evolve in an irreversible and an unidirectional way the best example is our stages of development from an infant to a toddler to a preschooler to a school going child to an adolescent to an adult to a middle age and to an old age it always goes in one direction there is no reverse in that evolution of human being the same way she believed that human beings are following a process of unidirectionality number 4 she believed this human being has a pattern and we have our own way of organizing the energy field so according to roger a person is whole a person is open to the environment a person is going to be uh, that is uh, i'm sorry a person is always evolving in one direction this particular human being has a specific pattern and this person has the ability to reason out ability to think that is sentience and thought ability to think ability for uh, imagination ability for creativity ability to talk ability to have a sensation and emotion so that is the high pedestal where uh, martha e roger has kept the person or a human being so according to roger's theory when i go to take care of my patient okay a patient if it was martha e roger's theory which i am applying i should know that this person is more than the sum of parts this person is open to the environment this person is evolving in a unidirectional way this person's energy field has a pattern and he is very creative he has the ability to reason out to think and then to imagine and then to have emotions so these are the second five so we remember that phi square is over okay i would like to say that phi square is over what is phi square the phi concept and the phi assumptions okay phi assumptions are related to human being concepts it's related to energy field the pattern the pan dimensionality so such things what we discussed in the first part is a concept and the second part is the assumptions then we come to three square the first three the first three stands for the principles of homeodynamics okay homeodynamic principles whenever you write an answer paper okay according to roger's theory you should write that there are three principles of homeodynamics what are they resonance second one is 
helicy third one is integrality so let us see one by one resonance means always there is a change of energy field from low to high again from high to low especially the best example is the hormonal changes in a women especially the progesterone the estrogen the sleep wake cycle the temperature changes which happens from dawn to dusk all these things are indicating that we are having a principle our energy field is following a principle of resonance what is resonance low to high high to low fluctuations in the energy field number two roger believe that this energy field has a principle of helicy what is helicy always this energy field is moving from simple to complex the more and more we age the more and more we have experience, our thoughts are something similar to this complex building what we see in this picture. Okay, the person's diversity of human and environmental field pattern is always increasing. Never it is going to be again simple. Always as days go by, the energy field becomes more and more diverse and complex. So that is helicity. Integrality is a very simple principle where she believed that always the human and the environmental field is integral with each other okay the uh, human being is open to the environment and vice versa so there is an integration between the human and the environmental energy field so that completes the first three that is the principles of homeodynamics i repeated resonancy helicy and integrality resonancy means always there is a fluctuation there is a change from low to high helicy is moving towards diverse moving towards a complex phenomenon and what is integrality always it is open to both are integrated what both human field and the environmental field now coming on to the last part three square the last three please remember to write at least three propositions according to roger's theory I have selected a very simple proposition in this PowerPoint. That is, all the three propositions are talking about the role of a nurse. Very simple. Number one, nurse is in the environmental component. So, where is a nurse coming while taking care of a patient? She is an environmental component. Number two, what is the focus of nursing? Focus of nursing is to promote health. Number three, what is the purpose of nursing? To promote well-being. Very easy. Nurse is an environmental component. Okay, focus of nursing is to improve health and to improve the well-being of all the persons. So with that, we have completed 5 square and 3 square. So when you get an uh, essay question to explain Roger's theory, please remember to write the 5 concepts, the 5 assumptions, the 3 propositions and the 3 principles of homeodynamics. Very quickly, let us look into the meta paradigm. Meta paradigm, we know 4 concepts are there human environment health and nursing what is human by now you can write by yourself it's nothing but the definition of unitary human being what is the definition of unitary human being irreducible indivisible pan-dimensional having a pattern and always interacting with the environment so that is what you're going to write for person what will i write for environment the same thing irreducible indivisible pan-dimensional having a pattern and always integrating with the unitary human being see when you write about human being right it is integrating with the environment when you write about environment you write it is always integrating with the human being that's it so that is about environment what to remember in health according to roger whenever a person is manifesting a desirable characteristic in an energy field she will say this person is healthy but if you are going to exhibit undesirable characteristic of energy field she will say you are sick even if a patient is suffering from cancer, but this patient is going to exhibit desirable characteristic of energy field with hope, with joy, peace of mind, Roger will say that this person is healthy. Whereas, even though you are healthy physically, but if you are going to exhibit energy fields of depression, sadness, doubt, guilt, etc., hopelessness, then she will say that you are a sick person. So, desirable, undesirable. What is the goal of nursing? Just now we saw to promote health, to promote well-being, to promote a very good interaction between the energy field of the patient and between the environment and to strengthen the integrity of that energy field. So that is about uh, application of meta paradigm. So unitary human being and environment, the words are the same, irreducible, indivisible, pan-dimensional, having a pattern, integrating with each other. 
what is health desirable what is sickness undesirable characteristic what is nursing to promote uh, symphonic interaction to strengthen the energy field how can roger's theory be applied in nursing practice all these interventions therapeutic touch guided imagery meditation humor therapy music therapy having just a relaxing environment will change your energy field listening to a good music will change your energy field experiencing prayer meditation all those things can change your energy field so these interventions are based on roger's theory so the last slide how to critic this theory you can say that this theory is difficult for nurses to understand because of the five concept the five assumptions the uh, very strong words of principles of homeodynamics all these things are a little bit complex for an average nurse to understand so it is little bit abstract generality this theory does not have any particular does not define any particular hypothesis there are certain theories which like middle range theories where you have specific statements which can be tested through research but here it is little bit difficult poor tools for measurement you cannot measure energy field you don't have a questionnaire or an interview guide to find out how to measure a person's energy field so there also roger goes down but what is the derivable consequences it is such a beautiful and a wonderful theory which no other nurse theorist have th thought about no other people in nursing has thought about she has taken a new path showing that nursing's identity as a science so she has taken and traveled a new path to prove that nursing is a profession by adding a body of knowledge which is very specific and very unique to our profession so that is about the critic of the theory overall what is the takeaway of the critic it is a little bit abstract there is no specific tool to measure uh, energy field but still it is a wonderful theory which has contributed to the body of knowledge how to write the nursing process assessment is you identify the pattern of the energy field nursing diagnosis please write disturbed energy field that is a nursing diagnosis according to roger's theory disturbed energy field what should i plan plan how to pattern it properly what is the intervention mutual patterning like counseling uh, telling the patient having a therapeutic touch guided imagery all those things will help to mutually pattern and what is evaluation again reassess and see whether the energy field has come back to normal so the only takeaway message from nursing processes nursing diagnosis please remember to write disturbed energy field all the other uh, areas please remember to write the word pattern so that is a summary so let us summarize summarize about this particular theory phi square three square which stands for phi concepts and phi assumptions three principles and three propositions phi concepts hope you remember it started with energy field okay it had a distinguishing pattern there is pan dimensionality unitary human being environmental energy field there are five assumptions what she believed about a human being wholeness okay this person has pattern and organization there is unidirectionality there is openness between the person and between the environment and this human being is able to reason out sentience and thought three principles of homeodynamics resonance helicity integrality three propositions mainly dealing with nursing what is the goal of nursing promote wellness what is the purpose of nursing to promote health where is nurse coming in the environmental component so if this much you can write for an essay question you these are certain hints which can help you to write in the exam to complete roger's theory of unitary human being brief introduction to the theorist phi square three square meta paradigm please remember about nursing process and what are the nursing interventions so to have a detailed version of this particular class you can always click on to the link which is given in the description box and listen to the various examples that are being discussed in the detailed session i hope and sincerely pray that this video will be helpful for students to have a small revision just before you go for your exam so that you don't leave out the five concepts the five assumptions the three principles of homeodynamics and the three propositions so thank you very much for all your encouragement and support i pray that this video is going to be helpful for a lot of you thank you